Tonight, emotional aftershock remains on Patterson Hill Road in the town of Hebron. Dan Levy continues our team coverage with reaction from the neighborhood where the shooting occurred. Dan, good evening. Mark, good evening to you. Up until last Saturday night, at least one resident of the Patterson Hill neighborhood in Hebron was concerned about a different type of tragedy occurring in their neighborhood. There are many more cows and sheep on Patterson Hill Road in Hebron than there are people. There's a certain etiquette. People go cro cro crossing their cattle all the time. You mm -hmm. stop, you wait. Um, he just, you know, that was always what we were afraid of, that he's, he's going to run someone over on this road. This woman, who didn't want to be identified, says the individual she sees as the most dangerous in the neighborhood is Kevin Monahan. Our main concern was that he was going to kill someone driving up and down Patterson Hill Road at great speed. According to that person, most folks on Patterson Hill Road are kind and helpful to one another. Most. And everybody else is in the same place. We, we all equally understood that, you know, that he was an aberration to the the kind of people that we live amongst. Folks who live in rural Washington County understand all too well the frustration of spotty cell phone reception and the challenges and now tragedy that go with it. I would say just about every single day someone winds up on my driveway, realizes this is not the place they're going, turns around. And I'm certain that you have never fired a gun at anybody who turns around in your no. driveway. No, oh my goodness. That woman tells me she moved into Washington County about eight years ago, and she says she's never had a conversation with her neighbor, Kevin Monahan in all that time. She also tells me that she has lived all over the world, and she doesn't feel any safer anywhere else than she does right here in Washington County. Live in Salem with coverage you can trust. Dan Levy, News Channel 13, back to you. Dan, thank you.